Jessica, let's go ahead and see what we have. Okay, you have your drafts and your Nobel uh, draft notes. Let's go take a look at the draft notes. So this is good. You've got your – this biography information is really, really super brief. You might consider um, adding more information to that. Then you have your timeline. Looks like you have about a dozen or so um, timeline entries. That's, that's good. You might end up deleting a few, depending on how this works out. Um, but I would create um, – more uh, complete ideas. So you're basically say the old man in the sea, but I would just say, you know, the, the old man in the sea written in 1952 or something like that, instead of just because so you want to complete the idea. Uh, subhead, American writer, good stuff, keywords, good stuff, good color studies, and then we have some images. So, so, you, so you have some image studies as well. So you have some nice variety here. Let's go ahead and jump over to the um, sketches, the drafts themselves. Now, I want to talk about these because right now I think you kind of have the idea here. But one thing I want to make specifically clear is that you can't use illustration on the front of the poster. You can use, you can substitute illustration, you can use substitution, visual substitution, substituting illustration for typography, as we see in this wonderful example right here, where the O is substituted for that illustrate, illustrative fist um, depicting suppression and um, the, the quest for, for equality and power, right? So that is perfectly acceptable. Um, and because it's incorporated into the typography of that illustration were presented over here alone, it wouldn't count because then you're creating meaning solely on illustration and not uh, using type as, as image. Makes sense? And then notice that this is also continued onto the back of the poster. Now, one thing I see in your work is that you're, you're creating ideas, uh, meaning, but you can't use an illustration of the typewriter unless it's incorporated typographically. Okay, this is good, the kind of typewriter ribbon creating the timeline, that's interesting. We have draft you now. I want you to notice that in the project requirements we're looking for, and I'm going right over to week five milestones. We're looking at several thumbnail sketches of various ideas for the front and the back. Right now, I only see two for the front and two for the back. I recommend adding at least two more for your final submission on Sunday. Um, some of the ideas here are not real complete, so you want to be as complete as possible in your thumbnail sketches so we'll get a good idea of exactly where you're going. So try to be more detailed in your in your, your sketches. Always try to be indeed very detailed in your sketches. So in the back of the poster here right now, you're just depicting a timeline. I don't see the image, and I don't see where the bio information would, would reside as well. So again, I just want to reiterate the importance of, of these announcements right here. You got to take a look at this. You got to take a look at this. And this, I take four or five really outstanding examples and I completely de deconstruct them and explain to you how the designer made the design decision, what is successful about them, and elements that you can use in in uh, for for uh, inspiration in your own uh, poster. So, so definitely want to take a look at this announcement and this announcement right here. Very, very critically important that you do so. Okay, so good start. Uh, for Sunday submission, I like to see two more sketches for the front and the back, and really try to create meaning, be as detailed as possible on your sketches. Other than that, I think it's a great start, and thank you very much for sharing. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you very much.